Hey, what's going on, everybody? Doing something a little bit different, too. I want to try doing, like, a monthly recap if I pick up any cards and stuff like that. Just so you can see what I've picked up. And it's not everything. It's just what I call my favorites out of it all. And I think it'll be quite interesting to do. Now, I could either have gotten this stuff if I got into a break or from a card show. Maybe bought it from my slabs, whatever it may be. I'll tell you guys a little bit of the story on to each card. And we'll start this side first here. So pick this up. This was an eBay purchase. I had eBay bucks I had to use. So Cindy Crosby. This is from uh, Champs or Champions, whatever they called this one. I forget. Yeah, Champs Hockey, fifteen sixteen. Little Jersey relic piece on to it. Really cool. Just to add to the collection of my Crosby stuff. Um, lo and behold, I didn't know I had a double of this card. This is what's bad is when you start collecting way too many things. You don't know what you have doubles of because you just stick it away. But still pretty cool. I picked it up. Maybe down the road I'll be able to trade it for another Crosby piece or something. All right, we'll move that one here. Oh, all right. Cole Anthony. This is going to go get graded, and then I'm probably going to use it for trade bait. This I picked up in part of partial trade. Um, and none of this stuff should be listed anywhere, too. I mean, it's not on the website. It's not on my slide. That's why... I kind of had in in the background. Rookie roll call auto from certified. Really a pretty good shape. Should make a nine coming back easily. But eventually down the road, I want to grade it. And I'll, or if I don't grade it, I'm going to use it for some trade bait for some stuff that I want uh, for adding on to the collection. All righty. Let's see. All right, we'll go to this next. Hit this with G1, Blue, Brady, Super Bowl MVPs. Since this will be his only one with the Bucks uh, on to it. Pretty cool. This will be graded out of 99 again. Down the road, it will be used for trade bait for something for PC. Um, but it will be off to be graded one day. You guys get to see that come back. All right, we're moving to Vintage next. So as everybody knows, I've been trying to pick up different vintage pieces just because I enjoy it more. Um, not saying I collect this stuff, but, you know, it's stuff that I'll hold and I know is going to go up in value. This here is the 33 Indian Gum. We got the American Horse and then California Joe. Really good artwork with these. Picked them up on my slabs. Fairly cheap. And, you know, probably about, oh, I want to say about 30% of our VCP, which was really good. So add these to the showcases. You get people come around, they start talking to you, and you get to engage into somebody. And you might learn something too, especially with the older people coming around vintage. But the same time frame where I'm trying to add certain pieces to my collections, I need the vintage people to come up to me and not be afraid thinking that I'm all, you know, modern or ultra modern stuff up there. So really good talking pieces with people onto it. And like I said, it's just something that breaks the ice with people coming to your table where you can have a conversation, make a connection with somebody that, you know, could end up having something down the road. Dude's like, hey, I got like six of these. I just found it, you know, 20 bucks a piece. You want them? But just some of that stuff. This is the other stuff, vintage I picked up in the shows. You guys remember this, the Dempsey defeats Willer. This was all brand new stuff that I just picked up. Joe Lewis, new champ. The Custer's Last Stand, very famous Custer's Last Stand. Uh, what are these, 50, I think they were four. Oh, it looks like 52 Bowman. Okay, I thought they were 54s for some reason. I could be off. See, now I got a brain dump, but I'll, somebody will correct me in the comments. So I'm sure a couple of you all will. <laughs> um, then we got to pick this Willie Mays up off a buddy of mine. He gave me a good price. Eventually, he'll go get graded. Uh, and it's just, this just needs to go into one of those forever holders. Bob Grease, another great quarterback from back in the day. Y.A. Tittle, another Grease. Gail Sayers, monster running back. That good old Joe Namath, Broadway Joe. So that's the stuff there. All the vintage will eventually one day go back to PSA just to get graded, whether they get ones, twos, threes, fours. It don't matter. Th that stuff there deserves to be encased and held that way for the rest of its time. All right. We're going to move up next. My hockey. Laffy Taffy. 
Allure. I forget what this was called. Pink something. We're going to call it Pink Shiny. Pretty cool. It's out of 75. It is OC. Left and right. I don't know if I'll ever mail it to be great because I know it's going to come back at least high grade of a 9. But it's well deserved into a one touch. This guy here, in case a lot of people aren't familiar with hockey, a lot of people have uh, downplayed this guy. And the issue being, he's been playing a lot of third line minutes. So you got four lines in hockey, if you didn't know that. Your first two lines are going to have your good, you know, centers and wingers on. He doesn't get the luxury of playing that because you got, um, uh, what's his name? Uh, uh, it begins with a P. I can't think of a Panarin or something like that on a team. And then you don't get the defensive guys that are going to be passing the pucks. They're more like the guys you want for penalty kill. I think in time, people wrote this kid off. He's going to be good. If he leaves the Rangers and goes somewhere else to be on a first or second line, his points will come. His points will definitely come. All right, final one. Final one is still one day we'll go off to Mr. PSA. I forget the year. I want to say 14. It was right. 2014. This is Tier 1 Acetate Autograph out 25. Ken Griffey Jr. Of course, I would do Beckett, but yeah, you just ain't going to win with that. And like I said, when I first saw this, I was like, what is that? He's like, that's smoke. It's part of the card. I'm like, no, man, it's like freaking mold or something growing on. He was right. I was wrong. I'm not afraid to admit that at all. This I like is Rounded Corners. I would love to get a 10 on this. I'm pretty sure it's going to come back a 9 or an 8 or something. But Griffey, Otto, definitely one day will get graded offhand. But those were my pickups. Nothing crazy big. Um, I don't think there was anything else crazy. I know I went to the, sa uh, the safety deposit box. I'm trying to think. Because I picked up the Infuego PSA 10 Jordan before Christmas it came here. And as I start updating my Jordan stuff, I'll probably, like, if you might see, like, a quick video clip and something like this of it. It's just because I didn't want to hold it here and just, you know, it's just up with the collection. Well, the collection's not even here. It's in safety deposit boxes. But, yeah, not too bad for the month of January. Um, didn't go crazy on anything at all out there. This here is more of uh, redoing the way that I'm collecting. Because the last two years, it was, like, grab grade sell who cares if it's sgc whatever get it make the flip and go buy something with it long run you know now it's about going out there finding some deals and stuff uh, i could tell you guys probably i gotta find out if he's setting up in salem um you'll probably see another griffey rookie or griffey griffey auto coming up i forgot to ask him if he does salem indiana or not if not it probably won't be till next month when i catch him up at the show I'm set up on the 15th. But he has some stuff that I want. Some more Griffey Autos and Montana and stuff like that. And he doesn't grade. Which is the best thing of all. If you could find somebody that doesn't like to grade at all. It, it could be a gold mine for you. But at the same time at least you know you have a fair chance. By looking at the card it might do well. Because we all know grading down the road does add value. Crazy it does. You know, with it, I can understand the mint because price guides used to base it off the near mint and you had to multiply up. And then we got the thing called gem mint and everybody's like, whoa, gem mint. Uh-oh, what's that mean? <laughs> Ooh, I'm back in the old box back there. But other than that, guys, um, video's coming out this week. I'm still working the PSA 10 video. The 10,000 Club one. I have a little piece I'm going to put in the beginning of it. That was done by Gemrate.com. It talks about how much PSA did for the month, how much Beckett did in SGC. When you see those numbers there, you're gonna be like, "What is going on?" And it, it just it, it's a talk for that video there, but it really makes you see how PSA has pushed in, you know, more graders, more everything else down there. And with that, SGC's not been flooded anymore. And I still think SGC's great to mail vintage in. I do. Um, if you want to get something quick done onto it and you don't want to wait a year. But when you look at like Beckett's numbers and stuff like that, it's just, it's bad. You can see they're just pushing new sales at shows and, hey, send us this in for $250 and we'll grade it. And we're not really catching up type deal. But seeing people that send stuff in 2020. And I'm talking, I think it was like 
August or September just getting it back. Big time. That's worse than PSA. All right, guys. Take care. Have a good rest of the week. Stay safe out there. And I will catch you all next video.